Hi, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in Inch Abbey, here in Northern Ireland. Uh, I have, um, I'm still ask, answering questions. Um, Azra asked the question about, I think you can hear that wind, huh? Let's see. She asked the question about, sometimes we know what to do. Most of the times, actually, we do what we do, and we understand changes could make in our lives, but most of us just don't do it. Laziness, missing self-discipline, missing motivation, but there's no better motivation than to make yourself and to live a better life. I met so many people, including me, who want to do just doesn't do it. It's fear or emotions or other things that's stopping us. Why do we do that? Why, are, why aren't we doing what we need to do that's actually going to benefit our own life? And the reason that we're doing this is because there's this programming inside of our mind. Basically, you've been raised up throughout your whole life uh, and having experiences, watching your mother treat your father a certain way, your mother, your father are are trying to help you but pointing out everything you do wrong you try to do something right and then it's still not right you get 98 on your test but they say say where's the other two points so then you keep trying and trying and it seems like there's no winning and so at some point we pick up some kind of idea that maybe we're not good enough or even why try because it'll never work for me and so our entire lives we've been taught it won't work you get punished and then again you know, one lady, she had a sister who wasn't as smart or as pretty, and so her mother would scold her when she did really well. You're, you're hurting your sister's feelings. Just don't be so smart. And so then she picked up an idea, if I'm being too smart or being too good, then it's going to hurt other people's feelings, so therefore, don't try. And so these are weird beliefs, even though we pick it up as children, or pick it up because of our parents and how they treated us, or even just watching our parents do what they did. And then we have this unconscious program says, don't think too highly of yourself, don't move beyond your current beliefs, because if you do, you're gonna hurt somebody. Therefore, you play little, you do little, you don't do what you should be doing. And so in order to change this, you've gotta change the resources, the beliefs, the fears, the stories they told you, the, the experience that you felt that hurt you. And the way to do that is, what we use is the art of change and in, in, in my, my process I train, your tactics and well as the faster of tea. And what you do now is you rewrite the stories of your unconsciousness. And then also create in your mind what you'd like to have and then clear out any and all resistance to having what you do want. And this is a little bit of work. There is work involved, but the rewards are great. The path before you will be opening up and you'll be doing what you've always wanted and you'll think it's normal because your current normal of not having, not doing and being is normal from your life. So you can have something better and the way to have something better is change the unconscious resources and those are the resources you can't consciously see and logically it doesn't make sense to you because you know logically you deserve it but the unconscious program says, ah, no, thank you. We're gonna keep you right where you are. We'll make you sick, we'll make you lay in bed, we'll create lateness. So, the way to do it is um, learn how to solve your own problems. And one of the ways to do that is learn how your mind works and signing up, one, for the, uh, the online training course, two, come, come to a live training, three, see a, pre a practitioner that I have trained to know how to go in and create the changes in your unconscious so you can consciously now get what you want and create the life you deserve. It can be done, it will be done, all you have to do is take the first step and that is decide today is the day I'm going to change my life and start moving towards that new life. We can help you. FasterT.com, just come see us and we'll help you sort yourself out. This is Robert Smith here in Northern Ireland at N Abbey. Peace.